is Jason Reich. I'm the director of security for BuzzFeed. Well, BuzzFeed does a lot of things. Um, I think that the easiest way to describe it would be to look at um, some of the large uh, entertainment companies of like the age of te- the dawn of television, which is to say, one company like CBS or ABC that would produce a variety of content on a new medium at the time. Um, likewise, BuzzFeed does the same thing. That medium, of course, being the internet, um, and I think uh, particularly. You know, you've got your content that people are familiar with, and you've got a lot of new uh, verticals that BuzzFeed is involved in as well. And of course, there's BuzzFeed News, which is uh, a growing and pretty serious news organization. My background is primarily in media security, uh, operational, which is to say working with reporters, uh, primarily in the Middle East. I would help people get into Syria, Iraq, etc. One thing that we do differently than a lot of news organizations is um, there's a, a course that a lot of media organizations, or almost every uh, media organization, will send a reporter to when it's called a HEFAT or a HEAT course, a hazardous environment first aid training course. This is the kind of course where you know you're dealing with like, oh, you know, stepped on a landmine, lost your leg. How do we put a tourniquet on? How do you deal with with trauma? How do you deal with kidnapping? But it's also important to know how to sanitize your digital space and how to be how to communicate securely and discreetly. The module that we're giving in these trainings is part of a larger package where we're describing secure and discrete communications, persistent and non-persistent. GPG is sort of, we save it to the end, um, which is to say that we're trying to show people a range of tools and trying to say like, no matter what, just please don't use SMS, you know, WhatsApp isn't so bad, but, and then show the flaws of that approach, which is to say that there's a, a path right, um, and a pedagogy that we're using, and then at the end we're sort of saying, and here kind of is, in a lot of ways, a gold standard of secure communication. Um, it takes a little bit of practice, but there's obviously some, there's some, so some key benefits and use cases, very specific use cases, for using GPG. GPG is like, you know, the way I describe it is part of a balanced breakfast of any reporter uh, especially one who wants to protect their sources and you know be able to be reached um, for leaks and things of that nature. I would say that in our entire newsroom we're looking at close to 50 to 60 percent adoption um, at this point. Ideally I'd like to have a hundred and that's something that we're working on but I already think that those statistics are pretty impressive. The reaction is almost universally positive. Um, in fact is universally positive. I think that um, it's a self-selecting group, for one, of people who understand that being able to communicate securely and discreetly is, is a cornerstone of good reporting. And so that's those people come wanting to learn. And, and GPG is a great tool for that. And, you know, there's a component, I think, too, of wanting to show that fingerprint, right, on the Twitter bio and something. And I think that that's fair. I think that that shows, it's sort of a mark, right, um, that shows that, well, this individual uh, takes this seriously and you know they understand and, and, and you can reach them in this certain way and I think that that's a valuable uh, it's a valuable tool. The key use case and the one that we see every day is people want to reach out and they want to talk to a reporter and they're and they want to do so securely maybe they won't have something to leak. Um, we have a very very powerful investigative team here that is broke a number of really important stories and a lot of that came from people who reached out and said, you know, I have something I want to talk to someone about but I, I'm, I'm nervous and I want to do so securely. I think that's the primary use case. Um, a secondary use case but, you know, equally valid of course is when we're, you know, when we're working between reporters in, you know, in a regime that is known to capture data at any point along the pipe and, you know, we want to make sure that the data is encrypted as it, you know, as it moves to the editor, so they're filing stories and they're encrypting that. So there's, you know, I think that they're common use cases, but very strong examples of how obviously a media organization would rely on GPG. When you're looking at GPG, I would say that our primary adversary would be a nation state. Though there are sophisticated um, groups that we would probably likewise use it for. I think our sources demand uh, GPG. So yes, it's clear that, that people today view it as the gold standard in a lot of ways for secure communication.